Hey Golf Ball Addicts, welcome back to the channel. I've got another experiment here for you today. If you saw the title, you probably already know what it is, and I know what you're thinking. Hey Nick, this has been done before many times, and I agree with you. I've seen many of these videos, but I haven't actually seen too many, if any, on an average swing speed. I've seen guys do it who have 115 mile an hour swing speed or 120, and most of the time those guys are pros. They're teachers, they've been playing the game for a long time, and they get the most out of what a driver can really do, and I do think you'll see differences there. But what about just your normal average guy who swings 90 to 90? 95 mile an hour, is he going to see a difference? So I'm going to find out. Um, so I'm actually going to go ahead and test it today. I'm going to test it with the Srixen Q-Star Divide Golf Ball. It is for moderate swingers, and honestly, it's one of my favorite balls I've tested. It's just so consistent. So I'm going to use that. And then the two golf clubs I'm going to be using is, of course, my Cobra F9 driver, which is normally a 10 and a half, but I brought it down to a 9 for the sake of this, because that's what the other club is. Um, but this is the one I test all my golf balls with on my channel, and I use it on the course regularly. And then this one is actually one I've painted. I've kind of had some fun with. Um, I actually bought this club. It's a Callaway Big Bertha driver from 2009. I'm not exactly sure the correct model number. If someone knows it, that's awesome. Uh, but anyway, I actually bought this club used back in like 2011, 2010. It was really the first nice driver I ever owned, and I love it. I've let friends use it. It still kind of holds up today as far as being good quality. So I'm going to test these and really see what the difference is. So with that being said, let's go ahead and hit some shots. It's about 70 to 75 degrees here. Let's see what kind of numbers we get. Okay, so after those first couple swings, it looks like I'm around the, uh, the, the 89, 90 mile an hour swing rank. So this is just a nice smooth swing, but I'm getting some pretty decent results. I'm gonna try to speed up my swing just a tad, maybe try to get it close to that 95. Let's see. Now I'm still 90, 90 might be the sweet spot. So this is actually a really good teaching lesson right in the middle of this. Um, I've tried to kind of hinge my wrist a little bit more to get a little bit more speed to try to get it to that 95. And I'm there now, I'm about at 94 as the last couple swings have been, but the last three swings have all been miss hits. And see, that's where it's gonna get you into trouble. So a lot of the time you'll hear pros and everything tell you, swing easy, make sure you make good connection in the center. That's why that's important. I'm getting the same, if not more distance, swinging slower and hitting the center then I am trying to put a little bit extra on it and hitting all over the driver. So I uh, got a little bit less yards there, but I am up to a 94 mile an hour swing speed. So ultimately what I think I'll do is I'll, I'll do some swings at 95, some swings at 90 and kind of see how the forgiveness is of each of the clubs. All ripped. If you couldn't tell, I tried to put a little extra on that last one. All right, so hit some shots with it, and I'll be honest, I don't know the numbers yet. We're gonna go inside in the, stu in the studio in a second and really check them out, but I will say that based on what I was seeing just number by number, I think it's gonna be pretty close. Uh, there was a couple times I really hit the Diablo well, it really went far. There was a couple times I struck really good here, but the thing was is the number one thing I was kind of looking out for is I thought for sure the F9 would have a little bit more forgiveness, but just on what I was seeing with the eye, I don't think that's the case. I think that both of these have a pretty good amount of forgiveness, even from 10 years ago. So it's gonna be interesting to go inside and check out these numbers and see what they came up to. All right, let's see what some of these numbers are getting us here. So let's start with distance between both both first 224 with the Cobra. It's a little lower than normal, but that's about close to the average of what I usually get for carry yards. Um, usually I, I, I do somewhere in the 225 range, 220, 225 on carry, and then it ends up about 240, 245, somewhere in that range. And then um, 224 was with the Cobra, and we're looking at 227.5 with the Diablo, so that's that's interesting. So basically what I did, guys, is I did 15 shots with each. I deleted the five worst shots with both club and then left the averages of the remains. And so that means that the 10 best shots between both clubs, the uh, the Diablo actually did go a little further. So that's really interesting. I, I Honestly, my thought process was that it would be close, you know, closer than a lot of people thought, but I never expected it to be a little more. That's, that's definitely interesting. 
total yards. Uh, so the Cobra was to about almost 245, basically 244.9, um, and then 247.8. Uh, so again, a couple yards further with the Diablo. That's very interesting. Um, not not enough to ultimately probably make a difference on the golf course, but again, we're talking about 10 years difference here. So moving along, uh, the next one is swing speed. So. Don't ask me how I did this. This is just luck of the draw, but 91.6 on both. So both were the same exact swing speed averaged out, which I think is really good for these numbers. I, I couldn't do that again if I tried 100 times. So that was awesome. Um, ball speed, this is what I'm really interested in. Cobra, 135.2. Diablo, 136.7. Now, that could be as easy as a couple more times. I could have hit it really well on the Diablo, but again, we're talking about 10 years of difference here. The fact that the ball speed was higher on the Diablo is something that's very, very interesting. Launch angle. So this is interesting right here. So launch angle, we got 14.5 on the Cobra. We've got 15.9 uh, on the Diablo, which makes a little bit of sense. That's probably where those extra yards are coming from. Um, that could be a matter of the shaft. It could be a number of the weight on the head. There's a lot of factors in there, but the fact that the, the Cobra was launching a little bit slightly lower, I was losing some yards that way. Normally, like I said, I have it at the 10.5 with a 90, 95 mile an hour swing speed. You want a little more loft to get it up in the air. If it's launching lower, you're gonna lose some. Though. So that's probably why I was, a, I was losing those yards that, that I was losing. Uh, smash factor, 1.4, oh, excuse me, 1.48 compared to 1.49. That's pretty close. That, that's not going to make a difference. But again, same, similar. Um, and then last but not least, let's look at spin. 26.77 on uh, the Cobra and then 2.763 on the Diablo. So ultimately, what I'm seeing is, and this, this is very interesting here, um, these numbers are basically the same. I mean, Yes, you could make an argument that, that the Diablo put up a little bit better numbers and you could make an argument that the Cobra maybe wasn't set to the right settings or th there's a lot of little arguments there. But at the end of the day, what I wanted to find out was, was there really any much of a difference? And based on these numbers, I'm going to say there isn't. I mean, that's just really all there is to it. I mean, if, if you were someone who has an average swing speed and you're using this club, the Diablo from 10 years ago, is it going to be worth $500 to upgrade to a new driver? Not unless you want to. I mean, you're not going to see a benefit of your game. And I know this is something a lot of golfers struggle with. You know, hey, would a new driver benefit my game? Would, you know, if I got one of the more newer ones, would it be more forgiving? Honestly, it might not be. I'm, I was getting just as much forgiveness out of the Diablo as I was the Cobra. Um, the Diablo, I would have a lot of off-center hits off the toe, and boy, you knew it because it's loud. That's the thing. The Diablo's a lot louder than the Cobra. I definitely like the Cobra's aesthetics a little bit more and its sound, um, but when you off-hit with both, they both forgave about the same. So as far as performance goes, it's just as good. And if you're someone starting out and you don't want to spend 500 on a driver, it's perfectly acceptable to go get a second rate one or, or one from a, you know, one from a pawn shop or whatever for, for a hundred bucks because most likely as long as it was a decent driver when it came out, it'll probably be just as good. So guys, please tell me what you think in the comments below. I'd love to hear your feedback on this. I was really surprised by the results and I think it proves that maybe we should all be working on our swings a little bit more instead of just buying new equipment. Unless you want to, you can always, if you want to and you have the money, there's no, you know, that's definitely your choice, but it might not help your game as much as you think it would. One thing I know I'm doing for sure is recently I've taken my four iron out of my bag. Um, so, and the reason for that is if you've ever tried to hit a bladed four iron, it's kind of like punching yourself in the face over and over. You don't get anywhere and it's just painful. Um, so I'm going to essentially probably put both drivers in my bag since I have an open slot and that way I can have a nine degree as well as a 10 and a half, kind of play with it a little bit, um, depending on the wind conditions, stuff like that. So maybe I'll get to play with them a little more. That way I can get some more feedback for you. But um, if you want any other types of experiments or anything like that, ball reviews, you know, club reviews, anything, just let me know and I'll do my best. Thanks guys. I appreciate you always being here. Keep watching to keep saving and keep learning.